Other interesting cultural news, you have a journalist arrested for filming a quote-unquote all-ages drag show. Um, unfortunately, in the... I was about to say the great, and this... Maybe not today. This is in the, uh, the state of Texas. Now, this comes to a place that lives on TikTok, and yet another reason to watch this on the good old rumble.com, because there this video won't get... It'd be ironic if this is one of the most viewed videos of all time on our channel. However, when I talk about certain topics, I notice that there's less views, not just because of my speaking ineptitudes, which granted, there are many. Now, again, this comes to us thanks to Libs of TikTok, in which she says, quote, a journalist in Texas was arrested by police for filming a quote-unquote all-ages drag show that is being held at a city's public event center. It's almost as if they're trying to hide something. And oh, I should have done a, you know, oh, warning in terms of well oh dear god I, was, I should have done a warning a visual warning as well as an audio warning youtube will tell, probably rip out the music which in this case you might be thankful since it's so rudimentary simplistic and terrible and interestingly enough in terms of the or not not well, maybe not profit the event that it's called the event it's a i don't know who comes with their logo it's pretty rudimentary or creepy if you think of the background of a in, uh, if you think of the background of Nickelodeon, maybe there's a parallel there, I don't know, but the logo is a foot, and it says step, and it says, All Ages Drag Show South Texas Equality Project. Ugh. And it took place in Mission, Texas, and again, the important part here, especially, is this is taking place at a public event center, so yes, your tax dollars, your, your rights, they're all into coming into play, and it looks like it is starting with a uh, Big guy in a dress with about 18 pounds of makeup put onto his face and well, admittedly better hair than mine in terms of luscious. Granted, it's probably a, little, a wig, but still, I have to give it credit, I suppose. It's surrounded by pinata looking chickens and hearts that are on flaming and then flowers. Yeah, so as youth might say, this is cringe, but we'll dive on in. So, this individual is wearing it. What is it? What is it? Definitely fake leather. Low quality. Texas burn. But they're wearing boots that go up to their knees and some type of creepy dress so you can see its buttocks. And yeah, a lot of rainbows. <laughs> Adult dancing like he's on an LSD or LCD or some type of DVD dancing. Interesting enough, wearing a beret, at least in unique thing. Okay, but he and now the police remove the journalist. He's not the owner of this building. No, no, the city of Mission. Yes, the city of Mission owns this building where you're having this drag show with children right now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, the police on down. No, whoa, whoa, don't touch my phone. Don't I'll touch my phone. What are you doing? Oh, no, no. This is a free country, correct? No, it's so, not. So. No, it's not. I just got arrested for, for just being here. Well, wow. Well, yeah, well. no, it's not a free country. Well. You just, you guys proved it. You guys absolutely proved it. Well, no, I'm right. So and I know I'm so right. I'm it ends at RGV Truth. It looks like they're on Rumble, Facebook, Twitter, Telegram, and the YouTube. It looks like this is filmed October 19th, oh, this year. And thankfully, this went pretty viral. Got 2.4 million views, as well as, how many likes do we get here? 57? Oh, I thought we could make it 58,000 likes. Not quite there yet. And yeah, again, it's one, if you have nothing to hide, why do they hate when people start to film these events? And also your tax dollars are paying for that. Well, not well, depending on where you live in the US, not yours, but you know what I mean, this local journalist. And yeah, quite creepy. And I always decided, you know, always quite interesting. They always don't want you filming. I mean, sh shouldn't they be proudly putting this on the internets and, you know, telling other friends about this great event? Interesting then, uh, most people expose these events, most of the not most, many sponsors do drop and may the events become canceled because of it. Now in this case, I was actually fascinated. We didn't see about 12, you know, Fortune 200 logos there. I'm only partially kidding. Now we do have this event being hosted by Step, which again, it's a weird, the foot, of course, the foot outline is purple with all the toes. It's like a rainbow. So each toe is a different color. So it's not anatomically correct in any way. In any way. And, yeah, yeah, there's no such thing as all ages drag show. Just like you would never take a child to a strip club. No one would ever do it. And this is also a fascinating thing, culturally speaking, 
In many states, it's Ill illegal to have children at a drag show. Yet, many of the police are cowardice, or they just don't want to actually enforce it. Or maybe the district attorneys don't want to enforce it. I mean, a lot of people are drawing parallels to like jaywalking, which is technically illegal everywhere. Yet, you really don't see that. You know, there's not a lot of public um, support. There's not a lot of people actually pushing to be enforced. Granted, this is much more perverse and disgusting, but we're seeing in many cities, even in Texas, I mean, I think this actually happened again last year in Denton, Texas, which granted is a college town, but still overall, we talked to the people on the streets, people did not like that, and it turns out they actually flew in a lot of activists to uh, put that event together. Now, going to the major comments of this video, the, let's see here, Thick Eggshell Strikes Again, now they have a cartoon, it looks like they have a guy, well, yeah, it's a cartoon of a guy with a pink t-shirt with a trans pride flag on him, and he says, quote, reduce penalties for pedos, force parents to accept trans kids, put men in women's bathrooms. It looks like you have Smeagol from Lord of the Rings coming out with a child that says, is it legal yet, from the closet behind him. And the person speaking you know, gives a creepy look. He says, not yet, but soon. And the podium does say California, which, on point, and also quite uh, horrifying. Yeah, several states have actually opposed harsher penalties for people who abuse children. That's a nice way of putting this. No, there's it. Those people are monsters. Why would you ever oppose, of all the punishments and all the laws, why would you oppose that? That is viscerally disgusting. Those people should be absolutely voted out with extreme prejudice. You need to, if you're local to those types of politicians, primary them, vote for the opposition, let everyone know that those politicians are voting against harsher penalties for these monsters. Ridiculous. Yeah, California also passed that new law where the schools don't have to tell parents and they can hide information about the kids who want to transition. Hence why Elon Musk moved two largest, most successful businesses out of California to the great state, some might argue the great country of a TXS, both SpaceX as well as X, formerly known as Twitter. Also, AKA saying disgusting, getting 383 likes. Paul Zupa says, quote, getting arrested for exposing child abuse, and in Texas, getting 888 likes, which, uh, yep. Harry says, the police arrested this guy filming, not the guy flashing his private part to kids. Hashtag Ken Paxton. Get on that, Ken. I'm not following him already. I got 1.4 thousand likes, which, yeah, this police should be fired. And I, we need to also, let me know in the comments your thoughts on this. Could police, when they get in trouble, should that money come from the taxpayers and their settlements? Or should, could, could, should it come from the police unions? Which they have a, what do they say, select, quite lush funds in their union pension fund? Yeah, let's police, again, the police, you're supposed to be, you're allowed to fill them. You have the, it's called the Constitution Bill of Rights. I know a lot of people don't believe it anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, the fact that police knocked his phone down, or again, didn't hit the ground necessarily, but he pushed his camera down and phone stopped filming. Again, this is a, I don't know if the argument they're going to use is there's a private event, but it's a public building his tax dollars are paying for. And not only did they kick him out of the room, but they stopped him from filming multiple times. Not only just in that room, but when you're filling in police officers, it's absolutely in your, in your rights in America. Going down more and more, Tyler Dunderson, interesting name, says, quote, Greg Abbott, governor, how is this even legal? To film this, let alone be arrested. Better yet, why are there all-age drag shows in a city public event center? Are we allowing perverted parents to groom children at a city facility and have police protecting them while I'm doing this? Game 1.9 thousand likes. Which, uh, get on it. Yeah, I can follow him too. Greg Abbott. Another friendly, right, friendly reminder, remember, reminder, geez Louise, I can speak. Again, I have that theory. The more subscribers I've gained, the better I've been speaking. Granted, when I first started the show, no one was tuning in. Oh, 18 people. Well, actually, no. Less people are tuning in, but... I had no subscribers. And I spoke even worse when I first started the show. Mostly monotone, something around my words. Worse than Joe Biden something upstairs while trying to walk. But as I slightly but surely gained more subscribers, I become more articulate. So if you can do me a favor, click that subscribe button. And I may very well get to a point where I can go through an entire episode speaking perfectly articulately if, and just flawlessly. Granted, some might say it's a tall pie in the sky goal, but we have to have goals in life. And I have a theory that it'll be proven true as we gain slowly but surely more subscribers. We also have, let's see. Going down more and more. Dave Sullivan, hashtag, or pronouns, prosecute Fauci, says, Texas forever, where we are, or where are our minor te mighty, mighty Texans at? And it's a picture of a, let's see, a gal whispering outside the window of a car saying, if they weren't grooming kids, they would be so mad when you, or if they weren't grooming kids, they wouldn't be so mad when asked to leave, when we asked them to leave them alone. And 564 likes. Florida One says, you're not allowed to film in the, the depravity and you alert the public. You would think the police would stop the depravity. When did this change? Game 528 likes. Uh, well, police cowardice, unfortunately. That and district attorneys don't actually do their laws. They've been growing in frequency throughout the years. 
Our Patriot US says, didn't do anything about pedos running it, attack the people exposing their perversion, getting 662 likes. Race Washington says, why is this happening in Texas, getting 301 likes. Fight with memes, but they did not, in fact, respond in meme form. Says, quote, you'll be punished for noticing the degeneracy and for helping others who notice it. Getting 609 likes. Chuck Tomlinson says, there should be no such thing as all ages drag show. They need to leave the children alone, getting 158 likes. Old School Eddie says, what are they trying to hide? These people cannot be trusted around children. Simple fact, getting 222 likes. True. See. So not too many contrarian comments here. Actually, none at all. No, that being said, there are many people who, well, mostly San Francisco. There are a lot of folks who, you know, they do approve of these activities. Well, shoot, there's a lot of them sponsoring it and actually running it. So again, it's not like there's zero of them out there. But in terms of this comment section, they're not present. So it'll be interesting to see, it'll be interesting to see, ultimately speaking, how much long will this be tolerated? I mean, how much longer, I mean, do you think it'll increase in popularity? You see a lot of large, large businesses actually starting to withdraw sponsorship of more controversial events, including like these. So I think we're at the cusp of having a turning point where these become less frequent and become less culturally accepted. But let me know in the comments, because as always, be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I really appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, a comment. It's a great way to give me some additional insight and feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.